Well, y'all, welcome back. So, I'm out here at a campsite, and while I do have my truck with me, I'm gonna do something a little bit different tonight, something I haven't done in quite a while. I have a big old Columbia tent here. Uh, I've owned this thing for a long time, and I, I can't tell you how long it's been, but it's probably been close to 10 years since I've used this thing. Uh, it was like a Memorial Day weekend the last time I used it. Uh, I was out with my wife, and it got really windy and one of the poles broke and we just stuffed it in a closet and we haven't used it. So yesterday I went and I got a pole repair kit. I repaired the pole, which I probably should have taken a video of, but I didn't. Uh, so it should be good to go. Like I said, we haven't used it in a long time, but I've got a nice fairly level spot here and I'm gonna get that set up. I've got a tarp to throw down on the ground and I guess we're gonna see how this goes. I do have, uh, my heavy sleeping bag because it is supposed to get down to like 27 degrees tonight, 27 Fahrenheit, so it's gonna be below freezing. I don't have any electricity or anything up here, so hopefully I stay warm. But uh, yeah, we'll get this tent set up and we'll probably get a fire going and we'll make some good food tonight. So stay tuned, we'll see how this thing go turns out. tent is set up and I broke a sweat surprisingly it's not that warm out right now but we get the cot set up in here figure out which way my head needs to go. Yeah, let it flop up a bit. Tent's nice, guys. Uh, there was a light here, I'll show you. <clears throat> this was hanging from the inside here. I remember when I bought this, my wife made fun of me for it, but it's just a hand crank flashlight, so you never have to use batteries. I don't know if you can see it lighted up, but yeah 10 years later babe it still works jokes on you uh, but i've got a few more things to unload out of the truck and i did bring a couple of moving blankets that i'm probably going to throw down on the floor uh, it might be a little bit warmer tonight too so i'm going to go grab those and probably like my food and stuff and i don't know we'll get it completely set up in here i guess i can put that in the pocket man i don't remember this thing being so nice honestly i didn't remember that it was columbia i thought it was a, a coleman or something a bit cheaper but it's a nice tent and the rain flies got some full coverage uh once i grab my stuff we'll do a little walk around of the tent and i'll show the whole thing to you guys Well, all right guys, tent's all set up. I had to ditch the hoodie. I was sweating pretty bad. Uh, you guys might be able to tell, but it's kind of sitting like that, which isn't a terrible thing. I mean, this is about one of the flattest spots I could find. I've got the, uh, the back opened up here. And then I moved my truck over a little ways just so it was closer and a little bit of a windbreak. That's really why I picked this spot because it is a little bit windy today and I've got a good wind block here. Uh, I'm going to go over there, but it's way more windy over there. So we're all set up out here. And inside the tent, I've been taking my shoes off so I don't track stuff everywhere. I kind of got my junk piled up down here. My cooking crate, food, cooler, battery box. And then I've got my bag with camera stuff and some uh, warmer clothes and pajamas for tonight. Uh, we've got all these little hanging pockets everywhere, which are kind of cool. There's some there and then down there. And then I did go ahead and throw my chair in here. I've got my carpet laid out. I've got my bed uh, tonight. 
after it gets dark and cold and I'm in here, I'm just going to be able to sit in here, put my feet up, and probably throw a movie on because I do have my tablet with me. Man, it's been a long, long time since I've tent camped. Uh, I can tell you the last time I tent went tent camping, in fact, I could tell you the date because I know there's pictures of it on my Facebook. Of course, I don't have much for signal out here. Ah, okay, so the last time I was tent camping was May 20th of 2018, and that was with my buddy Greg. Uh, his channel's of Midwest Family. I don't think you're going to be able to see that. Can you see that? There we are. Got our motorcycles out. I think that's his tent. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There we go. There's another one. I had the long hair. Look at that goon right there. So, it's been a little while since I've been tent camping. And when I tent camp off, tent camp off of my motorcycle, I just use a tiny little two-man tent. So, to be in something this big that I can stand up in... Is pretty awesome uh, I'm not gonna stop truck camping anytime soon because this is obviously a bit more of a pain to set up and take down and you got to make sure to dry these things out uh, it's just a lot easier to camp in the truck but this is gonna be nice and kind of the intention was to get this thing back out and honestly see how big it was because I couldn't remember uh, and more than likely get my wife out camping a few more times this year because she's She's over camping in the truck. I mean, we got it. Uh, she camped in there a lot. And then she's just tired of the small size, not being able to stand up. And she can stand up in here that just fine. So uh, I've kind of just been hanging out. I got everything set up, cracked open a brewski, and I've just kind of been enjoying it. Uh, the nicest part is when I sit right here on the bed and I look out, there's my view. That's a nice view, guys. Definitely a room with a view out there. So, got a lake down there. Uh, the only kind of bummer part is, well, I guess you can't really see it, but there's like a little park shop here, so it's kind of ugly with a fence and whatnot. But not too bad. Uh, I think I'll be just fine sleeping in here tonight. Like, I'll get these side windows closed up, and I'll close this fly on the back, this whole thing is just mesh so it's not going to do us much good i mean the ceilings mesh also uh, and then i'll get those little things closed down there but um, it's probably going to be cold in here tonight i mean whatever temperature it is outside it's probably going to be the same thing inside so i imagine when i wake up in the morning it's going to be a little bit cool in here although i think this bag should uh, treat me well but it'll be an interesting experience for me. I guess uh, another test of this bag. Last time I used it below freezing, I was in the truck and it was fine in there. Uh, but that does have a lot more insulation in it. So we'll see. I do have a thermometer in here with me. So I'm going to give it a couple more hours. Uh, let the sun go down a little bit more. Really just hang out and enjoy this view. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go sit outside because it's a little bit nicer out there with the breeze. But... I'm just gonna hang out for a bit and then we're gonna get ourselves a fire going and we're gonna make some supper over the fire tonight uh, something that I haven't done in quite a while I've I've used this method before but it's been a while so stay tuned guys this will be an interesting one tonight see how it turns out down into some coals to cook with tonight so I think I probably got a couple hours of light left but 
I need to get this started now. So, got enough light for you guys to see everything. That's going pretty good. Get some of these twigs thrown on here. Get this going. It's starting to cool off. I got all my all the windows and everything closed in there. Yeah, it's still pretty breezy. I don't know if you guys can hear that at all. But I gotta say I'm actually kind of excited to stay the night in there tonight. Just because it's been so long. Put some of this bigger stuff on. we have made fire well I'd say we got that thing burning pretty quick I'm gonna keep adding probably a few more bundles of pieces of wood to this and we'll let that start to burn down into some coals and I guess start getting our meal prepped got the Sun going down right in front of me it's a beautiful night it's gonna get cold though Well, y'all, this has been burning for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting uh, my dinner ready. Funny thing is, I just got a text from my buddy Greg, the one that I was talking about that was the last person that I ever went tent camping with. He doesn't live too far from here, so he's gonna run out here tonight and he's gonna come have a beer with me tonight. Uh, I don't know if he'll eat anything. I'm assuming he probably already ate, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stuff and start chopping up dinner anyways. All right, guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make like a foil packet meal. Uh, some people call them hobo meals or hobo packets and basically it's the same principle. So what we're gonna put in the packet tonight is one of these Cajun style smoked sausages from Zatarain's. We're just gonna use one of those. I've got one potato here. I've got half of a green pepper, half of a red pepper and I've got some cheese and I've got a little bit of seasoning and stuff with me. And we're just gonna chop this stuff up and wrap it in some foil. Put a little oil in there probably. And we'll stick that right over the campfire. Which is why I'd like it to kind of burn down so it's not uh, flaming too much. Now, what do I got here? Like that. I guess I can use my flat knife here. So we'll go ahead and chop these peppers up first. I guess I should get my foil ready to go. Never know how much to grab. Not that much. I'm gonna double it over on itself. I feel like that helps. There we go, and we'll just put everything onto that. So we're gonna use all these peppers. Uh, super sharp fillet knife there. Take this harder part of this out. Alright, 
grab one of these sausages out of here. I'm going to have to find something else to put this in. Throw it back in the cooler. Maybe I can just squeeze that one of those out of there without opening it too much. At least I don't have ice in the cooler, just an ice pack. Look at all wet and nasty. Nobody likes a soggy sausage. Speaking of soggy sausage, same thing. Mm, it smells good. I'll probably go a little bit bigger with these. <laughs> I think that's going to be plenty of food for me tonight. Kind of mix this up a little bit we're gonna put some cheese on there and then we're gonna drizzle some oil on it so maybe it that helps i don't know you could probably just put a pat of butter in it too but kind of whatever you want to do but we'll do oil trying to get all these taters kind of taken apart we want it cheesy we're going to dump some cheese on there. Did I say I like cheese? There we go. It's probably enough. Once again, we'll try to get this all mixed up together. It's definitely enough for two people. Uh, it'll probably cook down a bit, I guess. Uh, why don't we go ahead and throw on some, I have Old Bay seasoning. We're gonna use some Old Bay. It's kind of one of those things that's good on everything. Just try not to throw one of these pep, one of these labels in here. I'm gonna have to figure out some different labels. The labels that came with the, oof, the GSI Outdoor Spice Rack, no bueno. No bueno, guys. Got some old bay, we'll throw some pepper on there. A little salt and pepper. Pepper. Put red pepper on it just for because red pepper is good on everything. A little spice, a little spice action on there. Alright, we've got some seasonings. Drizzle some oil all over this. Probably too much oil. It's all right. Should help it kind of fry up in there. We'll get this. Try to get this thing wrapped up somehow on itself. I think this is going to be the best way to do it. That should be closed together somehow, <laughs> oh, but I don't know what I'm doing, so it's all right. We'll just try to get some of this oil. Maybe I'll I'll probably wrap another layer of tin foil around it just so it doesn't like spill. Because I'm gonna flip it on there. I think that's good. We'll just put one more layer over the outside of it. There we go. Supper is ready to be cooked. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Just got my supper ready. Waiting for the fire to kind of die down a little bit. Throw the supper on there, but. It's funny because when I got here, I was starting to set the tent up, and I was like, last time I went tent camping was with my buddy Greg, and then I got on Facebook and I like showed some of the pictures on the camera. And now you showed up. So. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Too hot? No. Oh, that's, that's probably perfect. We'll just let that sit there for a while. 
I might, I'm, I should probably set an alarm for five minutes. Flip it in five minutes. But that's probably perfect. Been a long time. Did you just went to the park. Yeah. You guys used to go to the park more when you lived in town, though, huh? Uh, I mean, we'd go to like the playground park. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you know what I mean. The, the thing that I hate about Facebook is so many political posts. And it was it was bad. One way or the other way, I still see them all the time and. Basically, if you're doing anything on Facebook, but posting like pictures of where you are or your family stuff, like you're not doing it right. <laughs> you, you're just you're not doing it right. I would rather see ten thousand pictures of people of what people are eating for dinner than their political and religious views all day long. Yeah, you know. I don't know. All right, y'all. Well, that's been on there for about 20 minutes. I've flipped it a few times. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off and see what it tastes like. I think it should be good. It seems fairly warm. Uh, and like I said, everything, I don't know if that's warm enough. I don't know. Everything in there is pre-cooked, so as long as potatoes are soft, that's all that I really care about. So we're gonna get this thing popped open. All right, let's see how this guy looks. It was sizzling when I pulled it off, so should be good to go, maybe. Ooh, hot. Yeah, it's plenty hot now. Ooh, yeah, that looks better. Much juicier. What do you think of that? That looks pretty good. That looks pretty tasty, eh? I'm not, I don't know why. Here, I got those forks. You're gonna have to try some of this. I already ate. I don't care if you ate already or not. You're at Grandma's house. You're gonna eat. <laughs> you at least gotta try it. Okay. Tell them if my cooking is garbage or not. You got taters. There's taters. Uh, this is. I don't. I can't remember what exactly what kind of sausage it is. And then green peppers, red peppers, Mexican cheese blend, um, some Old Bay seasoning, salt, pepper, and red pepper. This is on that bad. I mean, I'll make somebody a good wife someday. Yes, you will. Here we go, y'all. Check that out. Oh, it's pretty good. Dig in. Get on my fork. How's my meat taste? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, you probably could have left it on there for a little bit longer, but yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, the flavor is there. Yeah. I'm satisfied. We've done some fish like this. And then I... I don't know if I've ever done just you regular, like, hobo ground beef meal or anything like that. But I've done fish this way for fish tacos, which is really good. That's not half bad. On the guest scale, I would say it's a... It's a hard seven. 7 out of 10 for a guest? 7 out of 10. Maybe if it was just on there a wee bit longer, but... Look at all that melty cheese, though. Yeah, it could have used a little bit longer, I feel like. The potatoes, they're cooked, but they aren't, like, super soft, I guess. But definitely good. Have another bite, man. The uh, sliced up roast. Mm. Not bad though. No. Taters aren't quite there, but. Well, and like I mentioned before, guys, you can make this at home on the grill. You don't have to do it over a campfire. 
I mean, you could probably do this in your oven if you really wanted to in a foil packet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You had basically the same thing for dinner, didn't you? Pretty much. Easy meal, guys. There really isn't anything to clean up. Once this is done, I'm just going to ball this tin foil up and put it in my trash bag. I'll have to clean my two forks, but that's really about it. Probably wipe, wipe off my cutting board when I get home. But other than that, guys, really simple, simple camping meal to make. Simple camping meal. Cheesy, spicy, all the good flavors. You got some meats in there. If you know how to cook properly, your potatoes will be a little bit more tender because mine are fairly firm. Well, what are you cooking when we go bike camping this year? <laughs> I'm fine with hitting up the store and <clears throat> doing stuff like that. This is better than the cans of chili we used to take along with us. Yeah. yeah. When we used to go camping, we would just buy like a can of chili or whatever you could buy that had a pop top on it. And then you just crack it open and put it on the fire. But I've kind of learned since then that it's not a great idea because there's like typically a plastic liner in the can and that can melt and then go into your food. Some Makes people sense. say that it doesn't matter because the, the food is so hot when it goes in there that it, you know, if you're that worried about it, it would melt it at that point. But I've uh, strayed away from just cooking straight out of the can. I mean, I'd do it in a pinch if I had to, but... This is so easy and much really, better. Much better. Probably about the same price as you would pay for like a can of chili. And it's healthier. Way healthier. Yeah. I mean, the most expensive thing was the sausage, and I think that was like three bucks for two of them, and I only used one. Yeah. So, yeah, this is much better this way. I would, uh, only suggestion I would have is maybe more in bite-sized pieces that way you're not getting <laughs> i like the big peppers well you oh, oh. yeah okay well, you just got a big mouth <laughs> <laughs> you used to be the guy that would go out somewhere to eat and there's any food left over greg was eating it i mean he's string bean and he just goes through the food but I have high metabolism. You got a, now you got that swanky office job. Yeah, I got a swanky office job. I sit in a chair most of the day. Mm -hmm. Or drive around in a truck. Last bite here, guys. Let me shove this in. Last two bites, probably, actually. Oh, you could have made it fit. Mm. That's what he said. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. And we're gonna keep enjoying this fire uh, until we run out of wood, I guess. Supper was amazing. guys well Greg just left it's actually pretty late 10 30 we hung out by the campfire most of the night enjoyed the fire and I am cold now that I'm in here what's the temperature in here it is just at freezing right at freezing so it's cold all right changed toss that stuff on the floor for now till I kind of get settled in here figure out what I'm doing yeah guys 
It's cold. It's very cold. There we go. A little bit warmer. A little bit warmer. I watch a movie and go to bed. Hope I can stay warm enough tonight. Battery power 1%. My phone got cold. I'm going to have to plug this in. Yeah, batteries don't like the cold. The GoPro batteries don't like the cold. My phone battery doesn't like the cold. Everything's already getting frosty that was sitting outside. It's probably going to be, everything's probably going to be frosty in here in the morning. Yeah, my hand's wet. I'm going to watch a Prime movie called Slackers from 2002. Well, y'all, movie's going. I'm just going to go ahead and probably put this up here so I have something to throw my junk on. I think I'll put my coat over there for now. So I might need that later. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to watch a movie. I guess I'll get back to you guys once this movie is over. Uh, we'll see how cold it got in here. See if I'm, uh, how I'm doing because my hands are freezing. Yeah, I should have brought some like heat hand warmer packets or something. I did not, but yeah, I think I'll survive tonight. I don't think I'm going to freeze to death in here. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. We'll see how this turns out. Oh, my bag was falling off the end there, guys. Well, movie's over. It is cold. What time is it? That's just after midnight. Uh, so, probably stayed up way too late. And it's actually still sitting just at freezing in here. We're right at freezing. Um... I'm all right, except you know, if I have my hands or something out from under the covers, they get cold. Uh, but I'm gonna get this light shut off and I'm gonna get headed to bed. I wanna get back inside this thing, cause yeah guys, it's cold. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna have any issues. I was laying here for the last couple hours and I was uh, just fine in the bag, so I don't know. I think I'll be all right tonight. I don't think I'm gonna freeze to death. So, yeah, I'm gonna get this light shut off and I'm gonna get headed to bed, guys. I guess I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. I'm alive. Uh, Yeah, I can see my breath in here a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's just under freezing. Looks like it's 28 degrees, if you guys can see that. So, it's a little chilly. Um, Let's see what this says. Yeah. It says 27 degrees. So, a little cold in here, y'all. But it should warm up fairly quickly. Uh, it's 8 a.m. And then by noon, it says 46. He's got a high of 55 today. So, it's going to warm up a little bit. I'm actually just going to get back under the covers and hang out for a little bit. Uh... Maybe, I guess, let it warm up some. I'm sure you guys can hear the geese out there. I just want to put my feet back in here. <sighs> so I wasn't really cold at all uh, last night, guys, except for my face. Got a little chilly. I did not put uh, 
I didn't put anything like that balaclava or face mask thing on. Uh, so my nose got a little cold. That was about it. I survived the night without any heat. Yeah, guys, I'm going to hang out for a little while and then, I don't know, maybe give it another hour or so. Make some breakfast, some coffee. I might get a movie going now while I'm laying here or something. Who knows? So there's the worst part of tent camping. I don't know if you guys can see all the water droplets. Grab my little stove out of the back of the truck so I didn't have to break the big one out. Now I'm going to heat some water up for some coffee and I've got some oatmeal. Probably make some oatmeal too. Well, y'all, scratch that idea. I completely forgot I brought this with me. I think that's what I'm going to have this morning instead of coffee. Uh, it's getting really hard to find this stuff. So when I find a few, uh, when I find it in gas stations, I always buy a few. I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to drink that and probably just eat a piece of coffee cake. Change of plans, but that's easier to do. I cooked something good last night, I suppose. This can just get disassembled. Let's put this away. So I'm kind of just waiting for the condensation on this thing. I guess I can show you a little bit more of it. I mean, you should be able to see that it's all wet right there. Um, yeah, all around here. This top part's all wet. Can you tell? It's all wet over here. So I'm gonna have to give this some time before I pack things up and leave. Uh, I might just have to hang out and watch a movie. I don't really want to pack it up wet, considering I rarely use this thing. So, I don't know. I suppose I could set it up in the backyard when I get home, but that seems like a lot more work than just sitting here for a another hour or so part of it is the sun just came up over the trees right there uh the sun is just starting to hit this thing and out over there it could it would probably help if i opened up uh some more of these windows to let some ventilation through um but yeah that's the worst part of tank camping so i guess i'm gonna drink my surge and hang out it's not too bad out here it's already like over 40 degrees it's already it's it's probably uh, close to 10 o'clock already, guys. So I've been hanging out for a while, just sitting in there. I watched a movie this morning. I might just end up watching another one. <sighs> That's good. So, I guess what better to have with uh, a surge for breakfast than a Twinkie, right? I do have little coffee cakes with me, but I'll just have this. Breakfast of champions. Do I have a big eye booger? I do. Awesome. You can tell I'm just I'm hanging out. It's cold. For now, I'll give it another hour, I suppose. I guess I'll see you guys when I get done with my surge. Well, guys, tent's emptied out. It's pretty much dried off. There's a couple, I don't know, there was a few water droplets over here, but I shook them all off. It's all dried out now. 
so I've got it cleared out. It's time to get this thing torn down, put away. Probably for another few years. Who knows what will happen with this. There we go. Tent is all right back in the bag, guys. At least with a nicer tent like this Columbia, uh, it comes with a good bag and it easily fits in the bag. Well, I'm gonna grab that, we'll hop back in the car, truck here, and we'll get headed out of here. All right, back in the rig. solid night at camp um, it was a good night yeah the the condensation in the mornings is a bummer but that's just the way it is with tank camping in certain conditions um, I enjoyed the evening and I, don't know, I do plan to do some more tank camping this year so uh, it was nice to get out and kind of get back in that groove a little bit since it's been so long for me but I'm gonna get headed home and uh, enjoy the weekend and then I don't know, I've got another cool video uh, idea planned, something that I think you guys will enjoy. So anyways, I guess stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.